happens when we multiply by fractions less than, equal to, and greater than 1? Let's explore and find out. Let's start with multiplying by numbers equal to 1. We know that multiplying any number by 1 produces the same number you started with. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3, and so on. Let's see if multiplying by a fraction equivalent to 1 also produces the starting number. A fraction is equivalent to 1 when its numerator and denominator are the same. For example, 2 halves and 3 thirds. We can see that when we multiply 2 wholes, shown here as 2 over 1, times 2 halves, we get 4 halves, which is the same as 2. When we multiply 2 wholes by 3 thirds, we get 6 thirds, which is also the same as 2. So, multiplying by a fraction equivalent to 1 produces a number equivalent to the starting number. Now let's look at fractions less than 1. Fractions less than 1 have a numerator smaller than their denominator. For example, 3 fourths and 1 fifth. We can see that when we multiply 2 times 3 fourths, we get 6 fourths, or 1 and a half. This is less than 2. When we multiply 2 times 1 fifth, we get 2 fifths, which is also less than 2. This makes sense. Multiplying by 1 fifth is like taking 1 fifth of something. That's less than one whole group. It would be less than what you started with. So, multiplying by a fraction less than 1 produces a number less than the starting number. Finally, what happens when we multiply by a fraction greater than 1? Fractions greater than 1 have a numerator larger than their denominator. For example, 3 halves and 6 fifths. We can see that when we multiply 2 times 3 halves, we get 6 halves, or 3. This is greater than 2. When we multiply 2 times 6 fifths, we get 12 fifths, or 2 and 2 fifths, which is also greater than 2. This makes sense. Multiplying by 6 fifths is like taking 6 fifths of something. That's more than one whole group. The result would be more than what you started with. So, multiplying by a fraction greater than 1 produces a number greater than the starting number. Now try a problem. City Park has three running trails. Their distances are shown in the chart. Amber ran the same trail five times last week. Her total distance was less than five miles. Which trail did she run? We know that since each run was the same, multiplying the number of times she ran by the distance she ran each time will give us her total distance. We know she ran five times, and we know that her total distance is less than five miles. We don't know the distance she ran. This number sentence represents the problem. To get a number less than 5, should we multiply 5 by a fraction less than 1, equal to 1, or greater than 1? Less than 1. Multiplying by a fraction less than 1 produces a number less than your starting number. So, Amber must have run trail A. It is the only trail less than 1 mile long. In this video, you have learned about the effects of multiplying by fractions greater than, equal to, and less than 1. Thanks for watching.